When shooting your video, it's important to consider what format you're going to use. By format, I mean that you need to decide whether you're going to shoot in standard definition video or in high definition video. The camera has three choices for shooting in high definition, including HDV, HDV PF30, and HDV PF24. These are the different frame rates the camera can film in. Now, if you're unfamiliar with frame rates and have no idea what PF30 or PF24 means, that's perfectly fine. With that said, if you're wanting to film in high definition and you're unsure what frame rate to shoot in, we recommend that you film with the HDV setting. You can also shoot in standard definition, which offers the options of widescreen or DV wide and standard screen or DV normal. If you're wanting to film in standard definition, we recommend that you film in DV wide. HDV and standard definition are both widescreen formats with a ratio of 16 by 9, but the biggest difference between the two is size and quality. When shooting with either standard definition widescreen or high definition, the video should fill the entire screen on all modern widescreen televisions. On an older square TV, if you play the videos in widescreen, both the standard definition and high definition videos will have black stripes above and beneath the video, which is known as letterboxing. Let me show you how to select the format you'd like to use. On the back of the camera, you'll see a function button. Click that button and you will see some options pop up on the left side of the camera's LCD screen. Use your navigation button, which has the word set written on it, to scroll up and down until you have the menu button selected. Now press the navigation button in to select the menu. Now with your navigation button, scroll down to where it says record slash in setup at the top of the LCD screen. Then press your set button in. Here select HD standard. Now you have the option of choosing HDV, HDV PF30, HDV PF24, DV wide, or DV normal. If the camera prompts you with a question of whether you would like to change the format of the camera, select yes. One last important thing to remember is that when you decide what format you're going to film in, to stay with that format for the remainder of your project, and to not use the same tape to record both formats, as this can cause problems when you get ready to import your footage for editing.